Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you an awesome honey pot project at fish. This will give you a honey pot to collecting all attackers' information and attack message on your virtual machine. I have been making this video four years ago to show you this project. At that time, it was only have Chinese version, but now with version 3.0, now they already have English version to show you the interface and show you how to set it up. So in this video, I'm going to show you using a free one gig RAM, one core CPU, such as the one I'm using Google Cloud Platforms free tier virtual machine, how to set it up. Eventually, you will get this awesome dashboard. The most interesting part is this attack threat monitoring dashboard which shows you where the attack from and how many online nodes you have how many honeypot you created and how many attacks you have i have just set this machine up for less than two hours now i am getting hundreds of attacks from the world and you will see how they attacked you from where and which honey port, what method, which port they're using to attacking you. It's awesome. I really, really like this. And you can see how many scans you have, 84 attacks. It's crazy, but that's good thing for you to know how the hackers thinking when they saw you have something exposed to internet. Now let's jump to set up and create this virtual machine. As mentioned, I had this video four years ago to introduce this Hatchfish Honeypot project. At that time, it was open source, only Chinese version. Right now, it's community-driven, free Honeypot. The main project repository is Chinese. But if you go to the author's page, you will see this English document page, which is going to show you how this project been developed. So four years, lots of things changes. Now it's in a version three point something. Now they still have demo side. You can play with it. The deployment there's a multiple ways. Minimum requirement one core, one gig, fifty gig for the node terminal console. One core, two gig, one hundred gig. But we gonna combine them together. Installed on a one core, one gig, thirty gig hard drive free tier GCP machine to play with it as a testing. Four years, lots of things happened. This project is not open source anymore. It became closed sourced. The source code will not be posted on GitHub, but the product has a community version. You can use it for free. There's multiple ways you can install it. Docker version to install or Linux install or Windows install. You will see all the instruction for us to make it simple. We're going to use Docker to install it in five minutes. So now let's start to create a virtual machine and install a Docker. I'm going to use Google Compute Engine free tier to create an instance to play with it. You can do same since the settings are very common. So I will make it play faster, two times faster. And then I will mute myself and you just need to watch it or skip it to directly to the Docker part to install the Docker prerequisite and the Docker version of this edge fish.
The prerequisite for installing Hatchfish Docker has been completed, but there's one thing I want to mention is firewall rules. Since this is Honeypot, we want to get as much as attacking from internet, which means we have to open all firewall rules to the world to allow hackers to attacking us. So that's why we need to go to the VPC firewall rule to add one. So I already have one, but I'm gonna show you how to add a new one here. So that's the one I already created. I'm gonna delete that and show you the steps to create a new one here. So create firewall rule from the top and give a name, allow any. So we're gonna select all instance in the network since we didn't give a tags for this VM. So IP range will be any 0.0.0.0 0. .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 that means internet any IP will be allowed, any IP before will be allowed. We don't need second source filter and we don't need destination filter. And here is the thing you need to choose allow all. That means allow all protocols and port. Create it. So that's important for this project because this is honey port. We want to attract everything from internet to attacking us. Now we successfully create a firewall rule, allow any. For the Docker command, you can find out from hfish-english this repository, just directly copy and then paste it in into the browser embedded as a such window. Control Shift V, you're gonna paste into it. You don't have to change anything here, just copy paste and then end. In probably half a minute, then you should be able to download it, this image, and then the system gonna launch it, the Docker automatically for you. So download the new image and then Docker has been started. Let's take a look. Docker PS, I will show you the Docker. So we can see the Docker has been created and the status is up for 10 seconds. Now we should be able to access to it using the web interface, using your browser to open a port 4433. That's the default port. Since Docker is up and now we should be able to access to it using this external IP on your virtual machine. You can copy it and then add port number 443 and also don't forget the web at the end. That's the web GUI. If you just type 443, you will get nothing. You have to put the web layer. So you will see this client send an HTTP request to an HTTPS server. So this is HTTPS server. So we want to put HTTPS as layer. You got this, your connection is not private warning. That is certificate issue. We are using self-signed certificate. It's normal. Just click proceed to this website. You will be prompt this login window. Default username admin, default password, capital H, capital F, and fish 2021. There's a verification code or a lowercase xthb in this screen now we logged in first time when you logged in they will ask you which database you're gonna use so we're gonna use sql lite because it's free we don't have mysql and i don't want to install another instance for mysql so choose sql lite it's enough for our testing confirm congratulations to you honeypot is ready now choose this to the home page now we are in the dashboard now. Um, as you can see, the interface has a switch for English and Chinese. That's the improvement from before. We have English version now. In this dashboard, we probably see uh, just one node. There are two components for each fish, this image. One is console, one is node. You can have multiple nodes, but you can have just one console right now console and the node both are on the same virtual machine, same Docker. 
So if you go to the about, you will see the version number. Right now it's version 3.3.4. We joined in Edgefish Community Cloud Intelligence Program. And you should be able to see your node here. Right now we only have one. You can install multiple nodes and then manage from one console. So we just created it. By default, we have SSH Honeypot, MySQL Honeypot. You can add more. So right now there's one offline, the reason why is we are using uh, port 22 for our SSH session and that's conflicting with this SSH honey port port number. What you can do is can change it to 2222. In that case, SSH honey port can be listening on port 2222. The system has been up for a couple minutes only. Right now we didn't get any attack yet, but we should be able to get lots of scans from the internet. You will see them slowly, slowly growing. Even you just put in to internet for like two minutes, then we have 47 IPs scanning our virtual machine, our honeypot. They're coming from different countries as you can see most are coming from united states but we did get from switzerland china south korea bulgaria you can get more germany but we didn't get any attacker yet uh, let's go back to screen to take a look this is the interesting one so it automatically find out where public IP we are located. We are located in the US since we are using US GCP site to create this VM. And it shows where the attacker or scanner coming from. We have 80 scans dynamically They're showing the attacking from the geographic locations. Second scan, third scan, first scan, and total 80 scans. You can close this. There are lots of interesting parts. You also can make some API configuration. You can go to this website to get a free API. It allows you to register your own free account. Then you can put API key here. You can write this, some IPs. You can create a lot policy to allow you when there's attack coming, certain attacks. You can change database from SQLite to MySQL to get a better performance. And also you can create a multiple login account and the admin password, you have to change it since right now we are using the default one. You can put your own certificates, so to avoid to get that self-signed certificate verification warning. NTP time, you can change it to your own NTP based on your time zone. Here is the interesting part, you can trace to it. So right now, this is our console and Edgefish node. We installed on this server, so attackers attacking those ports based on the service running on those ports, they're trying to attack it. But we can do something called strike back and trace for it. So that's the interesting part. You do need to accept this service agreement and apply to it. So then you need to enable this web honeypot counter. So this counter program MySQL apply. So it's very interesting and uh, I will leave it for you to explore it list. Ah, somebody found that this is ESXi system, so they're trying to use a get command to find out a config. But of course we have nothing here, so we get the 404 not found the error here. But now we know somebody tried to attacking us using the vulnerability we put on our decoy, ESXi system honeypot. That's only five minutes we put our honeypot on in the internet. So we got the first attack. And we have more than 131 scans to our system from all over the world. That's all for today. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. Thank you for watching. See you in my next ones. Thank you.